Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. I'm in my favourite uh, local Weatherspoons watering hole. It's the Oyster Rooms, and that can be found on the first floor, uh, up the escalator, first floor of uh, Fulham Broadway Underground Station Shopping Centre. That's off Fulham Road, London, United Kingdom. I hope you all had a very nice Christmas. Uh, Wi-Fi is back on at the Weatherspoons, Whoopi, and things are back to normal. Christmas is over, and uh, I hate Christmas. And just got to get New Year over now, and then we can start on a new, fresh year, eh? Anyway, I'm about to recite my latest poem, uh, which, as per usual, I did in the early hours of this morning. It's called, uh, it's a childhood reminisce, and it's called The Redlands. The width of the stream, bank to bank, a formidable jump for my eight-year-old legs, and I was really small. The red clay bed, disturbed by previous failed attempts, its muddy, sucking vacuole always on the alert, a willing recipient for any luckless foot, that foot invariably mine. The long walk home, not given much thought, always hated, but more than bloody worth it for an afternoon's play, and I loved to be at play, me being the smallest of all. The Redlands, it was our secret place, ours because we discovered it, so ours by right of finding, finders, keepers, losers, weepers, it was in every young boy's dream, always included in mine. Much frowned upon now, our motive for being there, but we were youthful adventurers, armed with our sticks, all eager for the pillage, eggs aplenty, with nests in every tree, no harm in it in those days, and I was the youngest of three. In the middle of the lake, the fortress of the reeds, guarded with diligence by nesting swans, their treasure trove the <coughs> ultimate prize, but never did we get close enough to even see, never got further than knee deep, they scared the life out of me with their huge flapping wings, me, me being such a small young boy. My mother would pretend to be cross, my red socks a dead giveaway, no sense denying where I'd been, always sent to bed early, too guilty for tears, far too tired for argument, told never to go to the Redlands again, and it was always the others to blame for encouraging me, they being older, you see, me being the youngest of three.